whistle. Eric, everybody. Just everybody, like we're at the dinner table. Uh, uh, first off, I would like to say thank you for everybody uh, stopping by for a drink and an appetizer to uh, wish me luck on uh, my 90-day challenge uh, coming up. Uh, but first off, I would like to say thank you to the cake for hosting the reception. And uh, I would like to also say thank you to Molson's who uh, provided the beer for tonight's reception. So it's always nice to... It's always nice to have uh, friends in your back pocket that can feed you and keep you well liquored up. So Woo! <laughs> I'll have to keep that in mind during our bike ride across because hydration will be very important uh, as I'm riding. But, uh, you know, uh, just a little history about the trip that uh, came about, uh, you know, over the last uh, several months, or probably six or seven months, and talking with Scott, and many of you know Scott here for the ex executive director of the Boys and Girls Club. Um, our alumni does a tremendous amount of work here in Ottawa with the club, and specifically for Camp Smitty. Uh, Brian Smith, one of our alumni guys, who everybody knows his story. And uh, so in talking with Scott, uh, what really got me the one day is the Boys and Girls Club charity, the Boys and Girls Club of Canada, is not a top 10 charity in Canada. It's not a top 15 charity in, in Canada. Whereas down in the U.S. of A., the Boys and Girls Club is the number one charity with uh, uh, with the Hollywood types and with the athletes down in the States. And so I said to Scott that we have to do something to change that. And that's where the whole idea of the bike ride across Canada came about. Uh, in this case, it's uh, the Brad Marsh 90 Day Challenge. I'm challenging myself to ride across Canada. And the first and foremost goal of the 90 Day Challenge is to raise the awareness of the Boys and Girls Club. So we can get them in the top 15, then we can get them in the top 10, in the top 5, and so on and so on. That is the focus, that is the main reason why I'm doing the trip. Uh, the fallout of that, of course, is money. And we hope to raise a lot of money during the 90 Day Challenge. And many of you here tonight uh, received a call from uh, a mutual friend of ours, Mr. Dave Reddy, and he asked uh, a number of business guys in town to make a donation to the, to the trip. So some of you are here tonight, some of you couldn't make it. So uh, on, my, on behalf of myself and my wife Patty, we would like to say thank you very much for your donation. The ride, just to give you a little background of the ride, it, it is very much going to be a family affair. Um, I have four children and all uh, four of my kids will be joining me on the ride at some point in time during the 90 day challenge. Uh, Patty is, is uh, she refused to drive the winning angle. Uh, so, uh, uh, she is going to be with, with me uh, the first week of the ride. Uh, flying uh, to Vancouver and then she's going to leave us in Kelowna. Uh, she has to fly home to move out two of her daughters out of their apartments and condos at their respective uh, universities. So I think I have the easy part of riding the bike. Uh, and uh, but, well, the one neat part about the bike ride is my oldest son, Eric, who's at the back of the room. Uh, He's going to be with me the whole nine days, the whole, the whole trip. Uh, he'll be uh, riding his bike with me or driving the car when I don't have a driver to, to fill in. So uh, we're really looking forward to uh, spending uh, the time together as we go from coast to coast. Um, when I leave Vancouver next Wednesday, the 25th, um, actually I'll back it up this time uh, and uh, next week I'll be at the Boys and Girls Club in Vancouver uh, playing with uh, some of my fellow Canuck alumni uh, floor hockey game against the Boys and Girls Club uh, in Vancouver and the way the Canucks are playing maybe we'll get the sun <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the, once again the whole idea is to raise awareness so as I go across Canada myself and Eric and whatever community I'm in, uh, I'll call on some of my alumni buddies who play floor hockey against the kids, uh, which is going to be uh, a lot of fun and, uh, and a big challenge because I played the kids in the Ottawa club last week and they ran me to the ground. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but uh, so I leave Saturday to pick up to go to Calgary. I pick up my new bike in Calgary. Then uh, Monday, Sunday night, Monday morning, we'll go to uh, Vancouver. And then uh, Wednesday morning, bright and early, we we'll leave Vancouver and uh, go, to, pardon me, go to Hope, and then to Merritt, and then to Kamloops for my first visit to the club. In the so, uh, as I said a number of times, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, you'll be able to follow us on that modern day stuff they call Facebook and Twitter. And if you get a Twitter from me, or what's it called, a tweet? A tweet. <laughs> and there's a mistake in it, just remember. Great thumbs, small keys. Uh, and I, I might want to point out, I did mention our son Sense alumni who's done an awful lot of work with the club locally here. Um, our alumni has a golf tournament each and every year. And uh, this year, uh, my buddies, uh, they've uh, all the money raised at our golf tournament this year will come to me and return over to the Boys and Girls Club. So, Woo! Uh, What's your Facebook? What's your Facebook name? <laughs> Rod Marsh 90 Day Challenge. Just Google that, and you'll get to all Brad's stuff. There'll be bear pictures. There'll be what? Bear pictures. B A R B A R E. Stay tuned. We'll be. Yeah, we'll have pictures. There'll be lots of stuff on there, and as I said. We're, we're looking to have fun, so there'll be, uh, you know, stuff about when we stop for a beer, when we stop for a good meal, but we don't have, uh, we're looking for a place to stay, you never know where we might end up sleeping. Yeah, home. Uh, anyhow, um, that's about it. I just want to say once again, thank you very much, and uh, uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you back here in Ottawa. I'll be here June, June 3rd and 4th. And I uh, hope to have another reception on a grander scale such as this. And then I'll be here, then I head out to, uh, uh, through uh, to Montreal, or to LaSalle actually, and then on to the East Coast. Then I have to fly back, because my daughter's graduating from Western Ontario, I have to fly back for the graduation. I did threaten her that I would show up with my spandex on, oh. uh, but uh, that got voted down. So, uh, and because uh, the graduation, it works out that I'll just drive back up and I'll be here as part of the Sense along my golf tournament. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And with that being said, uh, can't wait to start my challenge. Woo! Good luck. Woo! Good job, Marshy. Good job.